Time across town, Carroll ISD School Board facing some criticism for rejecting a donation of posters in Arabic and rainbow colors. So the signs read, In God We Trust, as did the posters that the board accepted about two weeks ago from a Christian conservative business. So Arbrook Rogers is looking at the new state law that's playing into this dispute. Carol ISD father Sravan Krishna says the idea came from a desire to promote inclusion. In accordance to SB 797. So he donated six framed posters. So this is uh, In God We Trust in Arabic. And others decorated in rainbow colors. Um, real quick photo up. Two weeks earlier, the board accepted posters saying In God We Trust from Christian conservative wireless provider Patriot Mobile. Then the district cited Senate Bill 797, which went into effect last September. A district spokesperson said the law makes clear that a school district must accept the donation if it meets the requirements of the statute. The law says that a school must display a durable poster or framed copy of the United States national motto, In God We Trust, if donated. But last night, the board president rejected Krishna's donation, saying it had already accepted enough posters with the nation's motto. Instead, the statute requires a durable poster or framed copy, which limits displays to one poster or framed copy in an effort not to overwhelm schools with donations. Legal experts say there is gray area in the statute, depending on whether it's interpreted as a poster or any poster. It's almost perfectly ambiguous. It just says A. It doesn't say a maximum of one, and that leaves room for argument like you saw last night. Both sides have a reasonable reading of what the legislature said in this sentence. Krishna calls the decision hypocritical and says he just wants students of any religion to feel welcome. That's what this is about, that we don't want uh, kids to feel unsafe. Uh, and that's why we're like, okay, can we do something that makes them also feel included? Brooke Rogers, CBS 11 News. A quick note for you here. The author of the bill is State Senator Brian Hughes, and he sent a letter to the Commissioner of Education last week trying to offer some clarity on the law. He says a school is required to display only one copy of the poster and that it can't depict any other images or words. And he says that does include another language that's other than English.